Welcome to part seven of this Football Manager 2018 mini series where I'm managing Senegal at the 2018 World Cup. This is the last part. We're taking on Denmark for third place. We've done really well. Bit unlucky to lose against France. We, we fought bravely, but we just weren't quite strong enough in the end and we lost 2-1. But we have every chance of beating Denmark. They're a very good team. They've done very well to get to this stage of the competition, but I think we're reasonably matched. And with my tactic, I feel like I do have a good chance of winning this. I'm going to revert to playing Bolde at right wing back. Go for the attacking option there. But I think the rest of the team... Actually, no, I'm going to play Senkare instead of Ndai. He had a glorious opportunity open to open the scoring inside the first few minutes against France. And he didn't take it. So that's his punishment. He's going to miss out starting this game. Keeping the faith with Dia Frasacco up front, he fits into the system better. He's, he scored a couple goals, hasn't he? But I think Babakar maybe is the better option. But I'm I'm going to stick with the, the player that fits the system rather than the better striker. Denmark have some very good players. Jorgensen regularly scored in uh, the simulations experiments that I did. Paulson up front. Eriksen, of course, is their key man. Sisto's pretty good. Christensen's playing right back, though, which is a bit strange. And Kasper Schmeichel in goal, of course. All the best up there. This is just a bit of fun, third third place playoff, really. It's not, nothing massively important. It'd be nice to finish third, and it'd be nice to end on a high. But I guess, in a way, it's a little bit meaningless because it's all about winning the World Cup. It doesn't matter if you finish second either. It's all about winning. That's the team that will get remembered. Let's get on with this then. And of course, I will uh, play to the end of the World Cup. We'll watch, well, not watch the World Cup final. In fact, I was going to show it on extended. Yeah, let's show this on extended highlights. This game, I was going to show the semi-final on extended highlights as well, but I forgot. But we'll show this one in extended highlights. Make it a bit longer today. See a few more. Well, it, there's no guarantee we'll see more highlights. Denmark coming forwards early on in this first half. Sisto tackled brilliantly by Suarez. I've recorded all this series in one go. My throat's starting to wear out now. I like to create a backlog, which is why I'm doing one match per episode, really, just to create a backlog of videos. And we almost go 1-0 up there. That was a half chance. Because I can't record every day. Uh, can I really, really record Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday? So I kind of need to... What is this? Why are we behind the bloody floodlights? forgot what they were called for a minute then. Soiree. Lovely ball out wide, but it can't quite find Boldy. And here goes Bolson, who hits it well wide of the goal. Of course, we on extended highlights, we'll always see a few more bad shots, I suppose. Corner. Soiree knocks it to the edge of the box. Here's Mane. Killer belly. Offside. Kara's offside. Our captain thinks he's put us 1-0 up. Mane's sort of been hit and miss, hasn't he? A few good games. A few average games. But he is our best player overall. I wonder if we'll have any players featuring in the, the team of the tournament. Possibly. Not sure if there's been any outstanding individuals in our team. Just worked hard as a team. As Sisto knocks it over the bar. Of course, we drew 0-0 against Denmark with Australia. Didn't we? In that series. And Denmark done really well to get through to the semi-finals in this one. And is this 1-0? Nope. Alfred catches it. Being pretty boring game against Denmark once again. They've got some good defensive players. Solid team is is gay. Looking looking to get a goal before half time here. Here's Bolde. Down the right hand side. Dribbles past one man. Lovely stuff. Crosses it in. Sacco just over the bar. Second half chance of the game for us. We've had two each in this first half. I think I'll bring Sacco off. We're throwing Babakar. Been unlucky so far. Uh yeah, I'm gonna throw Babakar on. Maybe we, should, yeah, we could throw Niang. No, I'm going to throw Babakar on. Niang's not really played a part in this World Cup, has he? Just doesn't fit into this tactic. And, I mean, I could have put every single brilliant Senegalese player on the pitch at the same time. Niang, Babakar, Bolde, all on the t all on the pitch at the same time in attacking positions. But we wouldn't have got through to the semi-finals, I don't think. Here's Gay finding Mane. He's tackled, though. That's not great from Mane, losing the ball. Looking to dribble past a couple players. Don't blame him really in the attacking third. I don't mind expressive freedom. That's why I've clicked. Be expressive. Be more expressive. Here's Christensen. Putting a deep cross in. Jorgensen. Oh, what a miss. Paulson. That's a clear cut chance missed. Free kick to Denmark. Sisto. Knocks it 
Oh, just wide. It's a corner. Deflected off one of my players. And we escaped. I mean, we've got it on extended highlights. Uh, but there's not been very many interesting highlights. There's been 10 shots in total so far in this match. It really has been. We've cancelled each other out, really, haven't we? But here we go on the counter attack. Mane does really well. Mane's still going. Mane tackled. Ah. Oh. Maybe he should have played that square for someone. Here's Bolde straight away. Crossing it deep. <sighs> Almost lob Schmeichel. Let's just encourage. Oh, I can't encourage him. Let me encourage my friends. Smashed up the pitch. Headed away. Maybe this isn't a, the sort of match we wanted to see on extended highlights, to be honest. But here's Sisto. Paulson. What a save by Alfred. Tipping it round. That was a save for the cameras. He's got his brown shorts on today. I like those brown shorts. Yellow top with brown shorts. is brilliant. Hoiberg finds uh, Kjar. Kjar. Sounds like a seagull. That's probably not how it's pronounced. That's a deep cross. Sisto hits the post. That's their third half chance of the game. They have been the slightly better team, I think. They've had more shots, that's for sure. I don't know what to do. Sankari's looking unsure, so maybe I'll bring him off and we'll throw on Badu. On comes Badu. 25 minutes to go. Ah, uh, Babakar's picked up an injury. Well, we might as well leave him on until he's properly injured, I suppose. As this is the last match of the World Cup. This is nice play. Lovely passing from us. Here's Saivet. Back to Endai. Endai. Soiree. Lovely play here, but that's a terrible pass. And we've gifted possession to Denmark. We were... I mean, it was nice play, but we weren't going anywhere. So I guess it really wasn't nice play. And now Denmark. Look at this chap. Folk. Beasting down the right-hand side. Headed away, but not very well. But Garnegay does clear as far as Demisi. Into Sisto. Delaney on the ball. Finds Hoisberg. <laughs> what was that? Oh, this is why I play on key highlights for Football Manager YouTube videos. Behind the scenes, it doesn't really matter. But you don't want to see this as we blast another one over. You want to see the actual key highlights. But I thought it'd be nice to show extended highlights for this game, but it's been quite boring, so it's resulted in some weird highlights. I'm going to save the last sub just in case we do actually need to take Babakar off. Free kick to Denmark. Demisi knocks it. This looks like a chance. Paulsen, Volk. Blocked. Can we counter? Counter, lads. No. Here he goes. He's, he, this guy looks good, I must say. Good tackle. Might manage Denmark at some point as well. Haven't put them on in any of the polls yet. Because there's been no poll this time. Because Mexico is going to be next. One of my quarterfinal opponents, of course. One of my... The only quarterfinal opponents. <laughs> Don't have multiple quarterfinals. 13 minutes to go. Kulabali in possession. Finds Savet who looks up and plays it back again. And we're just passing it around at the back. Not really sure what to do. Kara knocks it up for Babakar. He doesn't get on the end of it. But here goes Badu Endai. Babakar. Babakar. Oh, good save by Kasper Schmeichel. And a corner from Soiree. Knocks it in. Headed away. Here's Mane. Kulabali. Endai. Hits it. It's blocked. It's not going in for us today, is it? We've not played particularly well, to be honest. Uh, do, I, do I make any tactical tweaks? I'm not really sure. Ten minutes to go. This, this is just what happens with third place players. The players are tired. They want to go home now. Mane. Mane out wide. Crosses it in. Headed away. Go in the back of the net, please. Babakar can't get quite get on the end of that. And Denmark can now break on the counter. Paulson knocks it up the pitch. And that's headed away. They brought on Nicholas Bentner. And he's injured. <laughs> Brilliant. Have they made all their subs? Are they going to be down to 10 men? Here's Babakar. Babakar finds Mane. 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 Bolde. It's too far for Bolde. Bolde. Back. Babakar. Is he onside? Is he onside? I think he is. We're 1-0 up. Oh. The injured Babakar finds the back of the net. Finally a goal. Oh. It's felt even more punishing this game because I've had it on extended highlights oh thank you Babakar so I think they're down to 10 men actually I am going to take Babakar off and bring on Niang for the last few minutes uh, playing as complete forward 
and we will go standard, turn them off, be more expressive, and just try and close this game out against a 10 men Denmark. If they score with 10 men, that's going to be really frustrating. Uh, Mane does well there, knocks it up the pitch for Niang. Look at him go. Oh, on the counter, Saivet. Oh, he had four players to feed that through to, and he couldn't find one of them. That's annoying. But Koulibaly steps in really well. Drissa Gay plays it up the pitch. Niang can't get on the end of that. But here he is again. Niang through to Mane. Mane can end with a flourish. We do. 2-0. We take charge of this game in the last 10 minutes. It's come alive. And we're going to finish third with Senegal. That is brilliant. I, d I thought we'd do quite well, quite well with Senegal. I didn't think we'd finish third. We've done really well. I think we've made Senegal proud and Africa proud. I know we haven't managed to win the World Cup. But this is a great performance. It really is. And we're still going. Bolde down the right-hand side now. Look at him go. He's still got legs. He's crossed in. But Schmeichel comes out and collects. Here we go again. Soiree up the pitch to Niang. Niang finds Mane. We're charging forward still. And Mane has a shot. And oh, good save by Schmeichel. He caught it as well. Mane's on a 9.0. He's played well in this World Cup. We've done really well. I'm proud of the lads. I hope you guys are too. Please leave a like if you enjoyed this series. I'm, I'm pl hoping you've... You're happy that I've finally come good. I know some of you were enjoying me doing badly because it's quite entertaining to see someone fail miserably, I know. <laughs> but I'm hoping that some of you have enjoyed the fact that I've actually gone quite far with a team. And hopefully it's just the start. We can push on from here and do well with some other nations. Mexico's next, of course. But let's go and see the result of the World Cup final. My players have done me proud. I don't know if there's a way to see international like statistics from the World Cup. Can't seem to find anything really. I mean that that's not we've obviously not played twenty three games. I don't know why that isn't a thing. I can't seem to get it to appear. Which is a bit annoying really. Let's see who wins it then. I'm gonna press continue. And the FM gods will decide. Continue. Oh, France went on penalties. One one after extra time. And France go on to win on penalties. So well done to France. But it looks good, doesn't it? Finishing third with Senegal. Love that. And if we go to past winners, we feature in third place. That is wonderful. But we do want to see who was who won player of the tournament and all that stuff. So let's have a look to see. So Griezmann manages to win best player of the tournament with Muller second and Kimmich third. Best goalkeeper was Manuel Neuer. Uh, best young player was Usmane Dembele. Dream team. Oh, what? Just German and French players. Goal of the tournament, Di Maria. Oh, none of our players featuring in that. And golden boot was Griezmann with seven. Suarez got six and Muller got six. I think... Uh, oh, in fact, we can work out how many goals each of our players scored. So in the first match, Sacco... So Sacco got two goals. He scored in the first match and the third match. Mane got one, two, three, four goals. Not bad from Mane. Did really well. Babacar scored two as well. Scored in the quarters, and he scored in the third place playoff. Uh, Kulabali scored one, and Sankare scored one. So, yeah, that is very pleasing. Really pleasing. I'm, I'm happy that I've actually achieved something in this series. Third place with Senegal is not bad at all. So, until next time, enjoy FM18, enjoy the rest of your day, and I hope you return to watch me as I take charge of Mexico next. See ya.